Well, thank you for jumping on and sharing your fitness journey with us. Um, yeah, just to kick things off, can you tell us a bit about you? Hey, man. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Benil, originally from Fiji, and uh, been living in Australia now for close to, close to 10 years. Uh, I'm an accountant by profession, which means I guess a lot of uh, sitting down in front of the front of the screen. Uh, yeah, man, and uh, yeah, just just I guess uh, that's 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 pretty much it, actually. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And yeah. a, a bit about you, like, do you have uh, do you have any hobbies, interests? Like, what what are you into personally? Yeah. Uh, so I, I do enjoy a bit of sports. So watch uh quite a number of it uh all right yeah, yeah. i grew up gr gr grew up in fiji so rugby rugby union is a big part of it uh play a bit of uh, soccer as well football yes. uh and a uh, big fan of the nba so uh <laughs> do, do go out and play but over the past couple of years with this whole covid lockdown and stuff I've, uh, it's kind of stopped a little bit because uh it's a bit of a stop start like the season kind of gets on hold when whenever there's a restriction and then it starts again mm. so it just kind of takes you out of it a little bit uh and yeah so just waiting for things to settle down a little bit and get back into it yeah yeah tell me about it you know <laughs> this lockdowns <laughs> knocked us all out of, out of whack uh, you know yeah. even myself i got out of shape as well over covid um you know just sitting down you, you forget about how many steps you're doing and uh and yeah. less active and you know i think, think the kitchen is very close by and everything like that Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent, yeah but um yeah I was, I was doing some study as well and trying to make the most of that oh, yeah. but um yeah i also got knocked out of whack and uh, not as active as i was but um yeah it's it's good that's that's you you know you jumped on board you jump on the program you get some coaching and and we're moving forward oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> nah, I, I needed, I needed it, man. You needed uh, it. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, so, I guess like I was saying, used to play sports quite a bit, so I was more someone who would uh, rather go out and just play as opposed to like go to the gym. So that's like from mm -hmm. the time I was a kid, it's like you know how there's that thing like match fitness, so you just keep on playing, yeah. so you're always sort of fit enough for the games. And you don't really go and work out in the gyms as much. So, so it's, yeah. So, but as I grew older and started playing less and less of sports uh, and work took over and everything, I just found sort of going down that uh, fitness journey. So wasn't as fit anymore. Uh, and you don't really realize it too much until as, as you get older. So then over the past few years with like COVID and everything happening, I was like, oh, it's probably you. A good time to start focusing focusing on health uh so yeah that's when i started trying to get back into the gym a little bit more uh trying to learn a few things uh because i've never really been someone who's uh, been a like frequented the gym too much so i've done like a few pt sessions and which is really good because initially i sort of needed that push uh and you know sort of being held accountable Mm. to do something or like really pushing myself because in my head if I was like yeah I've got until like say for example 10 reps and I'm starting to feel a little tired I wouldn't go for that two more initially okay. uh kind of stuff so I wouldn't really be pushing myself so I started getting into it mm -hmm. and then once I thought I was okay I was comfortable sort of going to the gym mm -hmm. then I started to kind of get the next step and like try and do things better start probably thinking about what I wanted to do yes. as opposed to just uh, having a goal and plan because I, I've never really had that. Uh, didn't really have a goal to work towards. So I was just kind of going to the gym and stuff just to stay sort of fit and not be like, uh, not kind of get totally out of shape. Uh, okay. But then I was like, oh, I probably start maybe working towards a goal and having sort of a clear work path towards it would be pretty good yes, yes and i guess yeah so i guess that's uh when i met you at, at the local gym and uh i think uh you had shared a couple of stuff on on your ig and then i thought i would reach out to you and see what's 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 up and yeah. things like that so i think that's yeah. that's really much how it started 
yeah <laughs> that's that's awesome uh yeah and then we had a good chat about goals and uh you know and, and vision and you know plan forward yeah. and some uh you know specifics that we can work on which is really good and um yeah, yeah. you've been crushing and also it. like uh and also like the stuff like i think there were a couple of days where i was just in the gym and you're walking past and i think there were a couple of things which are the form wasn't right and stuff and you helped me out with that and i could like see the difference like almost immediately like on how to, how it felt and where it felt as well mm -hmm. and like being someone who is probably has never really i've had those kind of coaches before but like i guess you know you haven't done it for a while and you forget about it mm -hmm. and then when someone points it out and you do it right and you're like oh yeah this is how it's supposed to feel as opposed to what it was feeling like before because it's very hard like i guess if you're not doing it on a frequent basis and you don't know about it mm -hmm. do you know the difference i guess what you don't know is what you don't know kind yeah of thing. yeah yeah, I totally agree. Um, actually, that's that's a that's a good point. You know, uh, it, and in our plan, we've got we've got videos as well, and and you guys yeah. can through videos, and uh, and we can assess them and and um, you know improve from there. And uh, I've been yeah. recording videos, the six functional movement patterns. I'm uh, going to do stuff on those specific muscle groups as well. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's it, it it definitely helps to to have yeah have a bit of guidance in that way. Um, yeah, and, and that. The, the other session we had like on that Friday, you know, one of the Fridays just before the shutdown happened and we yeah. kind of went through all the, all the different forms of exercises. I thought that was pretty helpful as well. Like there was like, so whenever I go to the gym, it kind of just, I kind of just remember, okay, this is what I need to do and stuff like that. And it, it's yes. really helpful. Like, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, those, those are like the foundational moves um, and many exercises come up from that, you know, yeah. uh, Rather than focusing on the little parts, it's good to get a good solid foundation, and then uh, yeah. and then work up from there, and uh, then you can look at like specifics and and like if you want more more chest, more arms, and that kind of thing. So, yeah, yeah. it's um yeah. it's uh, it's it, you you and you've been doing phenomenally well. You know, <laughs> you've you've jumped oh, in and you. I, th I, th I think it's also. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You say the constable, and you got a plan, and you're kicking ass. So it's amazing. <laughs> I was gonna say the exact same thing, and I was like, <laughs> it's probably just because there's like a, like with the plan, there's there's like a plan, and there's things to do, almost like a things to do list. Mm -hmm. So I think being being in this field, you just kind of so, like that's how your brain works. Like you're, oh, okay, I need to get these things done. So it really <laughs> helps me like <laughs> to be like, okay, to keep my focus and be on the plan. Cause like, you know how, it, that's just how my brain works. So I think it's like, personally for me, it's perfect. Like before, before we started this uh, 12 weeks program though, mm. uh, before I sort of committed to it, I, I definitely was a bit unsure because I think I mentioned it to you as well. I was like, oh, I've, and I think I asked you as well. I was like, oh, is there like some PD components to it as well and mm. stuff like that? Because I was like, I've, I've never really done one of these uh, 12 week programs. Mm -hmm. And I've normally just had PDs because, like, knowing myself, because I, I was, again, uh, probably repeating myself here, like, not big on gym. So I was like, oh, I'm not sure, like, if I'll be able to push myself or, you know, would I keep up with things? But, I guess the way this program is set up and with like all the day-to-day -day sort of activities and things like that, that keeps me on track without actually having a PD like physically pushing me. Cause I'm like, okay, I need to do this many sets. I need to do the, all these exercises before I, before I leave. Like it's just, uh, so it really helps, help, help, helps me out. And I think over time where say I, like previously I would probably do gym three times a week and one of one of them would be a PT session and then two would be just on my own. Mm -hmm. Now with this, I kind of get to the gym way more often. Yeah, you get yeah. a complete program. And, and, yeah. yeah, exactly. And uh, I've, I've found now that it, it sort of motivates me to go to the gym as well. So now it's not like, oh, I need to go to the gym. You kind of look forward to going to it. So over the, I think, the, fir the first week was obviously like it's exciting so you kind of yeah. want to go and you start on a new journey and everything else but like sometimes as it goes on you kind of mm. be like oh man uh, like 
do I miss it or whatever, you kind of start questioning things. But with this one, with this program, I found maybe it's just the way it's set or like, you know how you have the different phases. Yeah. I think it's, 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 it's really good because it kind of gets you in and it starts and you kind of build on it and you kind of start seeing difference and it's very motivating. Yeah. Like the one week, which uh, we had to just do it from home. Mm -hmm. I just, I was just joking with uh, one of my mates. I was like, I never thought I'd say this ever in my life, but I'm missing not going to the gym. <laughs> and I'm like, I've never, <laughs> I'm like, I've never, I've never been this person. <laughs> I never thought those were, those would be the words which would come out of my mouth ever. <laughs> but, so I think yeah, yeah it's, been, it's, been, it's been quite oh, good. Uh, it's great. Uh, and the other, the other real good thing was, I guess trekking food. Uh, I remember back in maybe 20, 2017, uh, I used to work out of Brizzy and one of my workmates, she used to do uh, bodybuilding comps. Okay. So she had she had like basically finished third in one of the bodybuilding competitions. So she, she was totally into it. And she, she had mentioned it to me back then. She was like, you need to do food tracking. She, she actually worked out all my macros and everything else. And she gave it to me like on a plan. And she was like, you know, if, you, if you're training like look after your food as well and she told me this back in 2017 and I was like I'm never I'm never doing it <laughs> <laughs> and now like once because I guess at that point in time I wasn't too aware of I guess the apps and stuff was still there but mm. I guess it wasn't as available or everyone wasn't yeah. using it as much so so once I got onto that my fitness bell, for example, and I started tracking it, and I was like, oh, okay, this is easy. Like, I don't have to do too much, mm -hmm. and I get a good track of what I'm eating. Uh, and you know, you can stay on track, and also find out yeah. all the stuff like, <laughs> which is the bad stuff you're eating, and you're like, oh shit, like, <laughs> <laughs> like the other day I had like a, like I'm I'm a fan fan of like sponge cake because it's something we used to eat like growing up in Fiji. Yeah, sponge and cake. the other day, yeah. All right. And the other day, and the other, the other day I had it and I like scanned that in and I was like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. At least now I know like how much like you can still have it. You like, still have it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But you just like can you know portion it up right so you just. Instead yeah. of having like five days worth in a day, you just have it over five <laughs> days. <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I thought it was pretty good. And uh, that's awesome. Yes, um, yeah, it's 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 back in the day, and they used to do spreadsheets, and that you write down the stuff and be very specific with it. Um, yeah. the, the way we're doing it's it's a bit more flexible. Uh, yes, we have nutrition targets, but we also have the flexibility to enjoy the foods we like. And um, and we're learning as we go. And uh, and as you as you just found out with the sponge cake. Uh, <laughs> we can push it out. Uh, the the old me, if I open a bag of chips, like I did in COVID times, I open a bag of chips and I was just eating away, and I didn't even know how much. And uh, you later you look at it and it's like a meal of calories, and uh, and I'm still yeah. hungry, <laughs> you know. And so 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 we learn these things just through the tracking, and um, and I'm able to see also like how you're going, and we're able to review and you know navigate yeah. and get you back on track, and. Um, and with those phases that you mentioned as well, you know, those checkpoint calls, um, we've, we've done one, we, we've got one coming up as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good, good to, to um, pause and, and look at oh, the overall, the big picture and uh, review your goals, you know, revise those goals that you had initially, because sometimes we forget and um, yeah. revise those goals and notice how you're going and how, how everything's progressing and your consistency which has been freaking amazing you just <laughs> you're just taking it all off and uh oh. even even the progress photos dude like <laughs> that was yeah. I, 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 I think most that's probably bad. the most most motivating thing man uh oh. because uh yeah and it's it's like over the past six weeks or so managed to lose two percent body fat and uh, like, I'm not sure like how accurate it is, but like when you but like when you see it in the photos and stuff, you're you can just see like, it in the photos. You, That's you can see the yeah, you can see the difference, and you're like, oh god, okay, yeah, it's 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 working. Yeah, it's working. Sure. Um, the, the scale. Ooh, I I got a scale. It's, yeah. 
it fluctuates. If you do it in the morning and you do it at night, so you got like three different <laughs> variants. And it yeah, just, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, it's just totally off, off whack. So this yeah. game, uh, we use it kind of as just a check-in kind of thing. And you can see yeah, it exactly. over time. But uh, so I, I basically so use, uh, you know how you mentioned, just do it at the same time every day, just to see. Hmm. And uh, <clears throat> I've, uh, so I, basically what I do is as soon as I wake up, yeah. I go and do it first thing in the morning. And it's it feels like it's probably like I haven't had any major spikes or stuff too much. So I was like, okay, at least it's giving me a good indication. Uh, so I was like, oh, it's, it's probably just a good to like just do a mini track of her things and yeah. but yeah I like like you also mentioned it's probably the visual is probably more important yes. and yeah. like how you feel and everything else so yeah that's that's been going really good yeah yeah it's yeah, it's super important like yeah def- definitely the visual gives us um gives us a really good picture of how your body's developing where the muscles going yeah. on how you're shredding the 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 vascularity, the definition of your muscle, also your posture, and uh, yeah. you know, how, how you feeling overall, and um, and yeah, the feeling is important. You know, that's that's the, that's the motivation behind us, and uh, we 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 delve more into that when we spoke, talking about your goals and we reviewing your progress and how how things are moving, and uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, it's it's important not to get too caught up in the numbers and get too attached to yeah. the number. Because um that this gas can, that can fluctuate, but uh, you know having those numbers and over time it's uh you can see a trend of how you're going, so um yeah, yeah it's it, it's it's handy and also doing those uh those progress photos you can see see yeah. the, the small changes but if you look over the month or you look over for you and it's just twenty days, <laughs> twenty odd days and it was just insane <laughs> seeing that yeah because yeah. uh, brown from the anytime fitness gym he normally like takes my photos and does does the measurement for me yeah Even he, when he was taking the photo he was like shit that's that's pretty big difference from the last time we took it i was like oh yeah it's, uh yeah. it was probably it was just eating a lot of junk foods and stuff like that <laughs> just, yeah so and, and, of, and your performance has been quite good as well you know you've been i've noticed uh you know been leveling up or also going saying it's extremely hard is hard so you've been going for it and, yeah in some of the workouts, which is freaking awesome to see, you know. And uh, even even yeah. during COVID, we we still did the out did the outdoor workouts and and you went for those things. Uh, you got into ground. Yeah, those were uh, yeah. those hill sprints were pretty <laughs> pretty hectic. <laughs> so first out, yeah, uh, I although but I quite quite liked it because uh, I hadn't done done that in forever. So because. Uh, <laughs> It reminded me back of like school times when we used to play. So I used to play soccer for them, and we used to have these hills where we would they would basically ask us to just sprint up and then walk down and then sprint up again. So it yes. just kind of jotted my memory back to uh-huh. then and hadn't done it in forever, and I was like dying, but it was great. <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. Um, yeah, there's there's lots of benefits to it. Uh, when you go sprint up like that, you know we really. Yeah. Uh, we're going we're going to our max or peak so that's why it's yeah. in the peak phase and um and yeah it d- develops endurance and you know it allows us to to go to our max and uh yeah. you know when we're coming down and we have some speed on that that's that improves our speed our, our overall fitness and yeah you get a good really good workouts in in less time which is awesome yeah. uh you probably felt it uh, for a couple of days after i did i definitely did yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no definitely i was like oh <laughs> this is uh yeah no nah, but the, 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 it's one of those like you know how there's uh it's funny because there's like you know two sorts of pain i guess one is like where you just like in pain and the other one's like you feel good about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and i was like oh yeah this is this is like yeah this this one i don't mind yeah <laughs> yes, yes. yeah it is there's two kinds of pain the the sharp shooting pain if you're doing like a movement a deadlift or squat wrong then yeah definitely stop that's very stop. bad yeah um totally rest but uh we've got the movement patterns we, we're working on those and you've got progressions in your program and um yeah the the, the muscle pain you know that's that, that's actually something you know as i say no pain no gain that's that's okay. a good indication of, of you going to your to your max and um and it, and yeah, your muscles basically tearing and repairing, so it's uh, so it's going to be be stronger and and more ready to go. So it's it's a it's a good thing, yeah. Um, 
Oh, that's that, that's great. Uh, in in terms of yeah, so, so how how are you feeling energy and and performance and, and everything else? Yeah, man. Uh, I think uh, I feel I feel good. Uh, I feel most of the time like now. The other things which I guess I didn't really do much, uh, but I've kind of incorporated now is I do take like for example free workout as well, and I feel that helps. That really helps me these days. Uh, so if, even if I'm feeling like a little bit like just after a long day at work and you know how there's like ups and downs at work and you're just like, oh, I feel like, but when it's like time to go, you just feel a bit more energized and you're like ready, re ready to go basically. So I, I do, I do feel that even, even like without those mm -hmm. uh, pre-workouts, it's pretty good. Uh, you look forward wait, to it. Wait. Yeah, I look forward to it, pretty pumped, pumped to do it. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so I think I think the energy levels are pretty good. Like I guess before, uh, if I go back maybe a year or two ago, I would do say for example I'd work out on a Monday and then I would be like, yeah, I can chill out on Tuesday. I'll see you on Wednesday. Like you know. Okay. Now I'm like now I'm more like yeah, even like there's uh, certain days like on Saturday sometimes I just go in and just do a little bit of like a little bit of stuff here and there or just go through probably not go as heavy or not as intense but just go through like certain things uh which are sort of maybe which were in the plan which i kind of couldn't uh which i was a bit struggling with and stuff and almost like do a revisit of it mm -hmm. so i go normally like because saturdays i wake up pretty early so i kind of get to the gym maybe like at seven or something or seven thirty at times and then just Wish. the gym is pretty empty and then you can just go and do all those stuff and like do it at a slow pace or something yeah, yeah. and just try and get the form right and everything else because sometimes like the gym gets busy and stuff and you're not able to get to like say for example one exercise Mm -hmm. Then I normally just kind of do almost like a catch up of those as well on the Sunday and the ones I just okay. thought I probably need to practice a little bit more yes. and things like that. Then I just kind of go back and do those like on the Saturday as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah so it's it's yeah it's really good. It's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah this 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 is complete structure to the program and it uh, it builds on each phase builds on each uh, and yeah. you know leading up to say the the hill sprints it's important to have a, a strong core you know and also to develop your legs and and glutes yeah. and make sure you can do do certain movements properly in order to do it safely and effectively and be able to yeah. perform well uh, so so yeah your, your plan's been building on it on itself and uh yeah. it's yeah you're a lot stronger overall and uh and and yeah, I'll put together. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's it's good to see that you are, you know, getting getting all those exercises in, and um, you know, working on the ones that's giving giving more priority to the ones that you need to. Um, that's that's something also as we go into the peak phase, we're gonna have a bit more customization, um, because yeah, uh, based on based on your goals, we'll revisit your your vision, your goals, and we'll customize uh, more things specifically for you. Because uh, yeah. yeah, remember a few things on flexibility. You wanted um, yeah. also with with uh, you want to reveal your abs and you know having a balanced body, so we can actually assess how your body's been developing and you know any areas yeah. that, that you want to bring up. And uh, yeah. so so all of those things we can, we can factor in and and uh, yeah, no. level up. So it's, it's uh, so we're looking forward to that. Um, can, can you tell us a, a bit about say your overall information, like how 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 uh, how are you feeling now since uh, since we started? Yeah, no, it's uh, it's been good. So I think we're in week week six now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, six, seven, something. Yeah, yeah. And and it's been really really good. Like uh, I think I've gotten more consistent and kind of enjoying it, enjoying the whole process, uh, getting better with like knowing the food I ate a little bit more thanks to tracking and stuff like that. So it's almost like a learning phase as well, uh, as opposed to like just uh, getting better physically. It's also like you're learning all these new things. Uh, also along the way, I've managed to lose about 2% of body fat, uh, yeah. like based on certain numbers. I'm not sure if it's right, but yeah, it definitely looks like 
lost a fair bit of body fat as well, like from, from the pictures itself. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's been really motivating, uh, just like learning, learning the different exercises and learning more about all the sort of the macros and things like that. So, you know, you pay more attention to all these things now as opposed to just uh, being a bit more like way too carefree. So, mm-hmm. so that's, that's, I guess, been, been something which I've really appreciated so far. And uh, yeah, like I was saying, I uh, never thought I'd be someone who'd enjoy the process of going to the gym and just working out and stuff like that. But now... Uh, I guess when I go there, I'm, I guess to use a more sort of a word, a more mindful, uh, you know, there's a bit, bit more present when I'm doing it. Not, not something like, oh, I just need to go there just because yeah. I'm, I feel like I need to go there. Like just it's, it's now a there's a bit more focus. Yeah. yeah. A bit more present in the moment. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. It's, it's, it's more purposeful because you've, you've got purposeful. A- yeah. yeah. So, so, exactly. uh, yeah so so you've got a you've got a goal you've got a plan and uh you know you've got yeah. the ability you know i'm going to check in with you as well and you know on mondays we do our check-ins and, and the badges and stuff like that and uh we, yeah. yeah so so it's yeah you've and got- the great thing i yeah and i think the great thing is you know how it starts with the with the accountability like i know uh you're checking but because the process for me personally it probably can't speak for anyone else but the process is so good that at one stage you almost forget that someone is checking in like you just buy into the process yeah. and you're like yeah I, I need I need to do this for myself as opposed to just because I need to answer to someone mm-hmm. uh, because you kind of know you see the difference and you're like yeah this program works yes. and it's really good so like being accountable and then I guess in the sense it turns around you feel so like now when we have the next check-in like it'll, it won't be like sort of your coach is checking in on you. You're almost like being excited about telling, oh, okay, I've done this and I feel this way. And, you know, it's probably awesome. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love that you say that because, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've been a personal trainer as well in the gym and, you know, I've, I've coached people through, through exercises and, um, and it always it's always been my approach to to provide a complete program and actually in in the gym contract that i i'd give guys i'd say you know you got to do one at least one workout on your own and um yeah. the reason for that is like my mindset even before as a personal trainer i always i personally always wanted to be independent i didn't want to be yeah. dependent on someone and uh in that same sense that's that's what i want you guys to be as well i want you guys to be independent and not not waiting on someone to be there or someone to push you but uh showing up and going this is my goal. This is my plan. This is what I want. And uh, let's, let's work on us, you know, and, yeah. um, and that's the, your, your, your plans designed for you specifically for you. And uh, it's got the key principles and the stuff I've learned over the years It's taken me many years. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it, you, you want to be more self-confident, more, yeah. more self-driven, motivated and ready to go. And, uh, and you, yeah. From from the sounds of things, you 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 well on track. You're loving the gym, and you you step in with purpose, and you're mindful <laughs> of, of how, how things are. It's, it's awesome. That's that's great. Yeah, man. So far, so far, it's been it's been really good. Uh, yeah. I'm glad. I'm I'm glad I signed up for the program. Uh, I, was, I was thinking about it the other day, like just uh, of something, and I was like, oh man, like because I've, I've previously I've just start, I've like made I've. You know how you make promises to yourself and you're like, yeah, I'll start going to the gym a bit more and stuff. And after a while you fall off because there's you haven't set a goal, there's no set plan and everything of that sort. And you, I guess personally, I'm not sure if it, what it was, but I was not equipped enough and uh, personally. But with this program, I, have, I find it provides me like the right tools and stuff yes. to then go and attack, attack it because... I think uh, you know how they say. Sometimes you, I, I read this quote somewhere and it just stayed with me. Like uh, I guess previously, you know, you have the recipe, but you don't have the ingredients, so there is nothing you can do. Yeah. <laughs> but now, like, uh, but now, like, I feel like you know, with this program and everything, there is both the recipe and the ingredients, so you can make something good out of it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Analogy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so 
Awesome. I, yeah, I heard it somewhere and I thought, I was like, yeah, this is pretty, pretty so Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and with a recipe, you want to have things in the right order as well, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the right can't, it can't be too much of anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I'm glad you mentioned that and, and, and you say that because, um, yeah, well, I, I kind of uh, implemented the ultimate success formula. If, uh, if you see in, in the portal, there's a lot of information I've, I've put together and um, that, that covers you know, knowing what our goal is and getting a lot of clarity on our goal because that gives us direction and then looking at our why, you know, the things that really move us and drive us. And, uh, you know, I think your why would have evolved since, since we started and we can revisit that and find out, you know, what's really driving you now or, you know, and even your goals as well, you know, it's, it all evolves yeah. as you do. And uh, so, so does your plan, so does your nutrition and, and everything else. So, yeah, having a goal, knowing why, and then having a plan for that and, and, you know, a step-by-step -step plan as a strategy that you can follow, uh, like the recipe, you know, you, you, you don't have, you don't have exactly. to think too much. You, it's, it's set for you. It's and, set, um, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, and it helps to, I, I've had coaches and mentors myself and, uh, you know, they, they were able to, to point out some of my, my blind spots, the things I didn't know and, uh, and provide me the right information at the right time. So it just, it's really helpful. You know, and, and from there, you also need a way to notice what you're getting. So, so at some sort of measure just to, to see how you're progressing along the way. And, and we've got that in terms of, yeah. I can see all your workouts and how your consistency behind it. I can see how, how you're tracking with certain uh, work exercises and so on, as well as uh, we've got measurements in terms of your progress photos. You, you can do other, other kinds of measurements, measures as well. And um, yeah. It, and lastly is is also adjusting as you go because the body adapts and you don't want to be doing the same thing all the time and uh and your goals shift and and so on so so we've got to adjust and make sure you keep progressing and growing in in the way you want you know not just for now but also for the long term so all, all, all those elements are, are kind of built into our program and and you've been doing phenomenally well with all of them yeah oh thanks for that which is <laughs> awesome I, I, i've been trying trying <laughs> I'd, I'd say you're more than trying you you're very good <laughs> you know, you're loving the journey you you, yeah. you show up and you're ready to get it done which is awesome and uh yeah. in, in terms of like life um you know work social and and those kinds of things how, how's how's that been for you uh no man to be honest i think uh really i feel like nothing much has really like changed in the sense like uh like I don't find that it's taking more of my time or less of my time or I'm not finding time for this or that or something. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, it's just kind of almost just seamlessly like come, come into it. And uh, yeah, it's, I, I feel like personally, like in terms of lifestyle, I haven't really noticed any changes. Like besides, also. like, I, yeah. So it's, I think it's been a pretty seamless transition. Like, Awesome. But there's a lot of things like uh, now it's like uh, say for example if I'm watching sports they like sometimes like with the English Premier League now sometimes I'm up like at nine thirty uh, the game starts so it goes on till like midnight and they, there's another game at midnight or something yeah <laughs> uh, but then even then like if I'm sitting there nowadays it's 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 all weird. <laughs> Cause, you know you feel like okay i'll just do a stretch or i'll do a couple of push-ups here and there just to like feel a yeah. bit more like you know not just sitting down and watching the game throughout and like just move a little instead yeah, yeah. of sitting there for two hours straight so i think it's like i think once you start doing it all that thing starts coming in automatically like without you even trying too hard so yeah like in terms of uh like has it changed like any of my shows has anything else suffered because of getting myself into the program and going to it? like nothing really has changed. Uh, yeah, yeah. And on, yeah, I that's, think I find it. That's great to hear because uh, yeah, it's uh, I, I design it with efficiency and effectiveness and, you know, not going crazy amounts. So some programs uh, I, I, I try to program over COVID from the guy and he, he gave me this massive program. It would have taken like two, three hours in the gym. It's excessive. It would have got results, but I wouldn't have been able to sustain it, and I would have been frustrated, you know. Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> so so, 
um, my philosophy has always been, you know, how can we make this efficient and effective, uh, you know, so that it becomes part of your lifestyle. So you're able to get the results you want and also sustain it for the long term. And it's, it adds to your life. You know, you have more energy, you feel more active, yeah. you know, you're not just watching you, you want to actually move and, and use your body because you've developed yourself. Okay. So it's, yeah. uh, it's a great thing. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. And even though I get work, I've, I've not really found, like, I know previously when I would uh, sort of come into work the next day and you'd be like lack of energy and stuff. And maybe it's just because, I don't know, like I haven't done uh, too much details on it, but maybe it's just because I'm eating right, trying uh, eating closer to the right amount of food and everything else where it all kind of adds up to me not feeling as tired the next day and stuff like that. So obviously there's like, like you were saying, there's bits of aches and pains or whatever, but it's not like nothing sharp or anything. It's just like normal. And yeah. like, it doesn't really affect anything the next day. Like you're still feeling as fresh or if not fresher than you did before. Yeah. 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 The, yeah. Recovery, recovery. We'll, we'll dive more into recovery as we jump into the peak phase. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much in the peak phase and yeah, I've, when you're really going for it, when you, when you got those numbers and you know, you got that consistency, uh, and we prioritize what needs to be prioritized. The peak phase is about, yeah, really testing your limits and, um, in doing so in testing your limits, you also, I found that it's, it's half about, yes, going to your max, but also recovery, recovery becomes a very important factor, something we don't see much of. We see these athletes, we see these peak performers out there, they do like crazy things, but we don't see what they're doing behind the scenes in terms of their stretches, their recovery routines, the things that they do to, to reset and, and get back, you know, in, in great yeah. shape. So, um, yeah, there's, there's quite a, quite a bit of emphasis on that and, uh, yeah, there'll be more, um, more teaching and, and, and coaching behind that. Yeah. So looking forward to, to seeing you that. Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, overall, okay. thank you. This is, this has been awesome. It's uh, yeah. Seeing, no, thanks, yeah. <laughs> seeing your, your, your transformation, your journey and everything. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Th- thank you for, for jumping on board, trusting in me and the process and, uh, you know, giving it your best and yeah, it's uh, really no, good oh, to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 been my pleasure. Uh, I think uh, just a few weeks now, and seeing the the little bit of results I've gotten so far, I think it's been amazing. Uh, probably yeah, not seeing those results as quick in a long long time. Like <laughs> maybe the last time, like yeah, I was anywhere close to being sort of feeling this level of fit was maybe back when I was in school playing like sports on a, <laughs> on a daily basis and stuff like that but yeah it's, it's been a while <laughs> <laughs> yeah i remember you were saying man i'm, I'm feeling a bit you know i'm, I'm getting a bit oh no take care of my health i don't want to be <laughs> and now you're like yeah, man. thinking about the sports days you're thinking about your youthful and I'm, I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm, we're on the same age as well you know so yeah, yeah. Um, uh, even thinking about uh signing up for like just yesterday, I was looking up some of the football clubs because normally I just play indoor. But I was like, nah, I think I uh, should sign up for one of the football clubs and go go play a bit more, a bit more competitive. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, awesome. so yeah, I, th- I think it's all from t- feeling a bit fitter thanks to this. Yes, yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you keep building, building up the momentum. You've got that drive, that consistency. You got a plan. You- and you've been going for it so it's it's awesome to see yeah. really looking forward to yeah, good, where we can go from here you know and i i think with with that with the, with your great progress with all the work you put in you know i think we can do some really great great things and achieve those long-term goals as well you know bring out those abs and everything else <laughs> yeah one day one day <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> well for, for, from the rate of progress you're making so far you know it's i think we oh. We're very close. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Yeah. Really good. yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank thanks 100%. again. And um thanks, yeah, let's, let's keep going. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Cheers, Valor. Cool. Thank you.